Good morning, Reverend Tony here out for a walk with Pancake, thinking about how awesome morning is. Take a walk with us, we'll reflect on the gift of morning. before we start our reflection this morning if you could hit the like follow subscribe button leave us a comment that helps us out a lot thank you so much i love walking with pancake in the morning morning has always been my favorite time of day especially if i can get out before the world has fully woken up and the sounds of the street off in the distance are overpowering and the truck noises are rumbling everywhere the time where you can still see the, the mist in the morning fog, the time where the sun is low on the horizon, but going up to start another day, when you can still hear the birds and the wind in the trees a little more easily, there's a peace to this time of day. And with days that can be difficult and full of anxieties and hardships, one of the things I always try to do is remember what it was like this morning, how peaceful it is right here, right now. The smell of fall is in the air. There's a, a blending in the air of this place right now where fall is bleeding into summer and summer is exiting, slipping past fall and they're both coexisting right here, right now in this sunlight with this little crispness in the air. Today, if I feel harried or anxious or stressed, I will sit for a minute, take a breath, and remember what it was like right here, right now, this morning, and bring the gift of this morning with me later into the day, when I need it, to remind me to be in the moment again. Pancake likes the morning. She has to catch up on all the news since she was here last. Smelling all the smells, getting all the info, and of course eating a little grass for breakfast. For many years, my most important central spiritual practice was sitting meditation. I was very regular. I would sit virtually every day for a number of years and breathe and just be present. 20 to 30 minutes every single day for near a decade or more probably. If I missed a time doing it, if I missed it some morning, I felt it during the day. Something was off, wrong. During COVID quarantine time, that practice wasn't working for me as much. And for the first time in my life, after having married my wife, who had just taken custody of a dog, Pancake, I started walking pancake once a day. And all of a sudden I noticed my time with the spirit of life, with God, with the world, was centered on that morning walk and how pancake and I had entered into this sacred time and place together. My reflection, my breathing, my being was slow and steady and focused. And now this is my central spiritual practice. And I'm glad you're here with me this morning. I hope you have a practice that you can do on a regular basis every day for at least a few minutes that brings you to that place that I call the still of morning, where you see the sunrise and the dew on the grass and the mist in the air, and it's peaceful and everything's okay just for this minute. There were some times during the past year where I was dealing with an Achilles injury then I had some back issues and I just couldn't keep up my regular walking practice. And it really bothered me. I felt it missing like the way I would feel missing my meditation back when that was my central practice. I'm glad things are better now and I'm back to 
my regular daily walking and enjoying it with pancake. There are many mornings where before I start off on my walk, I feel like, oh, I got too much to do. There's too many things pressing. I got to get right into the day. And I always remember that old joke where a man comes to the rabbi and says, Rabbi, how long should I pray? And the rabbi says, I pray for an hour every day, unless I don't have any time, and then I pray for two. It's when we feel like we can't fit it in the most that we need it the most. So my prayer for you is that you find your morning time, whether that's in the morning or the afternoon or the evening, whatever it is for you, and you're able to get there every day and keep it in your mind for the rest of the times during your life when you need a moment of peace and something to take you back to that place of stillness. Until next time, please remember that Pancake and I love you. Check out my website and blog at TonyLorenzen.com for even more resources that will open your mind, touch your heart, and inspire your spirit. Mm -hmm.